What's up, Sean Garvey? What's up? You know that's not how we start things off, Nicole. Well, Come on. I still on. want to say what's up to everybody. Man, it's been crazy trying to get to the studio tonight. Traffic is horrendous outside. It is crazy, and it's fencing the rain. So if anybody out, get your raincoat. Make sure you get your raincoat. What's up? It's the Beat Break Radio. This is how we do it. You know, we start out how we want to do it, Sean. We got Ashley more than Ashley in the house. How you doing tonight at more than Ashley? <laughs> so that means, like, um, don't feel that good? No, we good. We're good. Nah. You good? We good. We good. So we closing out 2012. How you feel about that? It does not feel like December. Man, it doesn't. I feel it like doesn't. I'm really trying to tell you going to do it. Sean sure. so Garvey is really eating what? Is you eating a Big Mac or? Uh, yeah, a turkey sandwich. Oh, my God. Well, he brought he brought his lunch to work tonight. Uh, damn straight. Are you eating bacon? Are you eating bacon? No, it's a turkey sandwich. What? <laughs> I can't play the instrumental in the background. <laughs> I can't play it. I'm trying to get it in playing. Mm mm mm. How about that? Beat break radio. Damn, this turkey sandwich tastes so good, man. He having a good time with that turkey. Oh sandwich. yeah. Oh shit. I should have got a napkin. Oh, oh my fuck. god. <laughs> Sean is really getting it in. So you I came. Am. You came to work prepared tonight. Yes, I did. Yeah, you know, I came prepared. Brought my sandwich, brought my drinky drink with me. Brought your drinky drink? Yep. My drink shout out, drink shout out to the Turkey King on the south side in Fairburn. I got to try them out. Yeah. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's the Rooster King. The Rooster King. The Rooster King. Yeah. Okay. You know, yeah. Beat Break Radio. You already know what it is. The next movement in radio. Beat Break Radio. Twitter.com at Beat Break Radio. Facebook.com at Beat Break Radio. Sean Garvey in the building more than Ashley and Nicole King in the building. Chat with us live on VoiceCast.com. That's VoiceCast with a K.com. We are live in the building just to let you know what we just played in the mix. That was the homie Liddell Williams with Echoes. 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 Followed by Lynn Tate. With oh no, nah, actually no. Nah, um, let me let me run that back. See this this turkey sandwich is tasting so good it's fucking up my brain cells. Wow. RL RL wow. mix up part two. That's my boo. Yeah. Yeah. That's her. Uh, that's her 89th baby daddy. <laughs> no, he's number one. Cause you got so many baby daddies, it's ridiculous. And you know my body's still looking good. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I was trying to get um more than Ashley to show more of her last time, but she refused to. So. You got anything? Like, yeah, cancel that. Cancel that. Also followed by Lynn Tate, who was in the building last week. Big shout out to Lynn Tate, Invisible. And also before that, Drinks on Me by the homie Street Lotto. Drinks on me. Drinks on me. Shout out to Street Lotto. And we kick things off with Kemp Star with the party. You know how I just did it back to back with the party and Drinks on me? You sound good. Yeah. That's what's going down at the 50 yard line tonight with Riding Dirty Radio, Big XL, and Miss Linda. Y'all got to come out with me, man. It is, they be off the hook down there. They be turned up. They be turned the fuck up <laughs> on Tuesday nights. 50 yard line, Old so, National Highway. So what y'all Park. do? Oh, you got why? kicked out. You got kicked out by the fifty yard line. I think that's why I got kicked out the parking lot because I was tripping. You know, that's what happens. You don't have sex, you be tripping. <laughs> oh shit! Tripping, you gotta get your sex on. And then get I started going in the building. He was like, "Nah, boo, you can't walk in either. You gotta go home." Wow. What? I think so how does it go down at the fifty yard line? It Tell goes what down. Do. It's an open mic showcase. Okay, okay. For okay. up and coming unsigned. Um, aspiring artists that want to get their skills heard on the mic. Right. So you got to bring your egg game and uh, you will be judged. Okay. I, was, I was actually one of the judges last Tuesday night. So how did they do? How did they do? Some did well and some need uh, a little bit of work. Oh, OK. So yeah. But, they, to... you know, but only one winner. There can only be one winner. So what do they win? They win one thousand. Whoa. New, what? Not one thousand. Not one thousand dollars. Dollars. OK. Not one thousand dollars. But 1,000 1, Twitter followers. Oh. New okay. Twitter followers. That's all you That's mean. all I'm going to get is 1,000 Twitter fans. That's all I'm talking about, Twitter fans. You better get your yeah. life. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, now. Ain't that many people, uh, especially artists that don't have 1,000 so Twitter how followers. So how do you actually know that these people going to follow you on Twitter, like, if you win? Big X and Miss Linda, they hook you up. They know people. Oh, know okay, okay. People. So the people, okay. I was just yeah. thinking that you were saying, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 
Okay, well, big ups to Miss Linda. We ain't met her yet, but thank you for letting Sean Garvey and Beat Break Radio come. Y'all, y'all coming out with me? Y'all coming out with me to the fifty yard line and get it turned up? Wait, tonight is every Tuesday. It's night? every Tuesday night. Every Tuesday night after after ten p.m. It's from ten p.m. until one or two in the morning, depending okay. on how many artists sign up. Oh Lord, so you be up there all night, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Listening to last night, you won't believe. Not last night, but last Tuesday night, they gave me a free picture of Long Island iced tea all by myself, and I was thinking, like, damn, Nicole Ashley ain't here I to know, share this picture drunk. with me. So, did you drink that whole that whole? I, picture? I drank until it got to like this right here. Oh my god! So, were you safe getting home? Hell yeah. Okay, I just I'm not a heavy that. drinker, but Maybe. I can hold my liquor though. Okay. Sean, I can't even imagine you got liquor in your system. I just can't. Oh, you don't I know me from back in the day. Look, actually, he'll be turned up. I bet he be in there looking at booties. Hell like, yeah. praise God. He was in here looking at booties last week. They were about to strip for him last week. They actually did do a little strip tease. Lynn last. Tate. Oh, yeah. Big shout out to Lynn Tate, who showed her backside. Yeah. Tattoo, I like her. She's nice. Tatted up. She's really nice. I really see her music going really, really far, and I'm digging it. Yeah. I'm liking it, so. You know, it, I see back. it going ma- mainstream. It's going to be on mainstream. We got to bring her back. But I'm glad she came right here on the Beat Break Radio to view, to actually have all of her listeners hear her song first right here on Beat Break Radio. Cause, yeah. And it was just in rotation. So if you hadn't heard it, please make sure you go back and Invisible. Invisible. I like it. I like it too. I love it. I know you I do. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We had people in the chat room. Big up to the people in our chat room that was giving, um, giving out some love last week. That was saying some great things Ms. about Miss Cat. Miss Cat, wherever you at, thank you so much for tuning in to the Beat Break. Thank Radio. you so much for sharing your fantasies <laughs> about Lynn Tate with us. Yeah, big shouts to Miss Cat. <laughs> yeah, Miss Cat. <laughs> it's going down the Beat Break. Follow us twitter.com at Beat Break Radio, Facebook.com at Beat Break Radio, VoiceCast.com, VoiceCast with a K.com. You can sign up and chat with us live for free. All you gotta for do is free. get a all you gotta do is get a username. For free. Yeah. Big shout outs to Lola B checking in. Facebook. Shout outs to Lola B. The lovely Lola B. The lovely Lola B. Also, shout outs to T Pain. T-Pain. The real T Pain. The real T Pain. Checking in with us. I'm sprung down to get, get me. me. We need to play that song. Got me doing things I never do. Ooh, you know, God just made you do things that you never done before. Oh yeah, I Not know. Not me. I'm still in the process. <laughs> <laughs> We're still in the process. So, yeah, Nutella. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> Nutella. Nutella. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Nutella was a, Nutella was interesting. Yes, it As a matter of fact, I'm going to try that when I go home for December. So, boo, get ready. Nutella going to be all on deck. <laughs> it's going to be on deck. It's going to be on deck. Nicole King in the building. Oh, you know what? We yeah. forgot to acknowledge um, your birthday. Uh, a few weeks ago, Nicole yeah, King. My birthday, birthday. is. Oh, your birthday. Happy belated birthday. Well, thank you. I turned 32. Roop de do. Yeah. I'm just glad to be alive. Glad to be alive again. But, you know, I had a pretty good birthday. You know, hey. I had an event that was going on in Milledgeville. And big ups to everybody that came out and shared that event with Divas with Attitude. It was a birthday girls. bash. Go on. And I had a birthday bash afterwards. I did. Okay. I had a birthday bash that was after the um, main event, which was that Saturday night, which was the 17th. So big up to all the people, Tony Wallace in production, all the people that actually got me out there and produced, um, promoted my party. Also, I want to give big ups to Cutmaster D, DJ Cutmaster D, who DJ for me and the American Legion for all the people that were behind me. So I and all my girls, all my friends, and Divas with Attitude, we had a great time. It was, you know, it was it was a good crowd. You know, we had a good party. I was so glad everything was over with because it was an overwhelming weekend. I was going from Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So, mm. and I got up there and I told everybody about Beat Break Radio and I told them about what we do and everybody want to be on the show. So I've been letting everybody know who will like to be on the show, who is an up and coming artist that want to get your music and get your beats to the street. We are the ones to get your beats to the to the street. So right here on Beat Break Radio. So big ups to Sean Garvey, Woo-hoo. the hardest working man in radio. You already know. <laughs> Turn he, up. He, he is over here straight pigging out in the studio. Turn up. Turn up. Yeah. 
All right. So tonight we got an off the hook show tonight. Um, we were supposed to have one of the members from the mod team call in, but we're going to wait until another night to chop it up with them. They were supposed to call in to talk about home modification and about their company. And speaking of which, this show, The Beat Break, is sponsored in part by the mod team. Now, you know, let's keep it real. Black folks and white folks, some of y'all are Asians and Hispanics out there. Uh, there are people that are going through foreclosure. I know yes. somebody that's going through foreclosure in my family. I won't say their names. Okay. Well, I know you know some people in your family too, I Nicole. I just going to say everybody. Ashley. You know, it's a lot yeah. of people going through mm -hmm. it right now. So if you are out there and need some help, if you even think you finna get behind, y'all know it's Christmas time. These folks ain't finna pay no bills. They're going to wait till they get their income tax to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> so December, it, please make sure you listen out for um, the mod team that's coming through so they can actually tell you exactly what you can do if you're in trouble right now or you feel like you're heading to that cliff like that like these people saying this financial cliff we're about to go over i really want to know yeah, about that. what does that mean can can y'all explain that to me wait, what wait, is wait, the wait, financial wait, wait, cliff wait wait before we get into okay, that i gotta let them know uh to call the mod team at 909-279-7843 that's 909-279-7843 and ask to speak to will mccray and he will help you out or um his other staff members will help you out as well all right so call Tonight or tomorrow, 909-279-7843, and tell them that the beat break sent you. All right, what was your question again? Uh, well, I just really wanted to know from you and Ashley, because I really am kind of unclear on this financial cliff that we're about to kind of, they keep talking about we about to fall over. What The fiscal is, cliff. The physical, what? I mean, I really don't understand. What? Are, they're saying it's going to be, it's going to really affect the retailers. So, Ashley, do you know, do you know anything about about this financial the, crisis, cliff. the physical cliff that we're about to that they're saying we're almost on the edge yeah. and it's going to affect the retailers what do they mean by they're, that we're going to affect the retailers I, I mean I didn't know well, honestly I thought like this past like when we had this Black Friday situation that going on I thought it really was saying that Americans we we bought we brought, um we gave in I guess like like me like Two billion, four billions, just in that past weekend. So they were saying like that was a good, that was a good um, sign that the far as like the financial that we were heading in the right direction. Now this is new, this is new news to me. The fact that you're saying that we're heading for this financial cliff. So um, honestly, y'all better hold y'all purses. Show better. Oh, Call wild, Junebug wild. and and Roo Roo and Ra Ra. They gonna get you. Cause I promise you, they ain't gonna let they. You ain't gonna let your family eat, and theirs ain't gonna eat. So I just didn't understand about that whole concept and what. And if you, if any viewers or listeners are out there that knows a little bit of information about that, please enlighten us so that we can be able to educate our listeners and our viewers, viewers, so they would actually know exactly what is going on. This is what we do on Beat Right Radio. We want to give information that is very, very informative that will let our people know exactly what we can do to help. So. Sean Garvin, when we had a mod team in there, I think that's definitely a, a good a good thing because everybody is facing a financial cliff right now. Mm -hmm. So when we do have the mod team, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a bunch of questions from a lot of people who is actually um, facing foreclosure, about to go into a foreclosure status, or just in it right now. I just don't know what to do. So I'm, I'm ready to talk to I'm ready to get educated team. about this whole situation, so definitely, yeah. And your burger smell mighty good. Don't it? It smell yeah, like yeah. Burger King, right? Here. I know. Yeah, yeah. Need, to, need to get some. Can we make a run? Man, gonna yeah. be a long can run. We, yeah, at ten thirty. Can, can we call the dope man? <laughs> at I mean, ten thirty. Can we call somebody to make us a run? At ten, yeah, yeah. You want to call you, now? You want to yeah. call now? Yeah, let's call somebody to come bring us, make us a run. I'm, uh, I'm, hey, can, hey. I, can I say that? Hey. He turned. Yeah, you can say whatever you want to. He'll be right just ready. Hungry. <laughs> A bitch is hungry. A bitch is hungry. <laughs> a bitch is hungry. <laughs> oh, really? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. Well, we turned up tonight. Yeah. Yes, you are. Now we that I can hear myself, yeah, we crunk now. Let's get it done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Y'all crazy.